Do you want to learn how to use image to video inside Adobe Firefly? In this video, I'm going to help solve your problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So to use image to video on Adobe Firefly, first head over to firefly.adobe.com and sign up for an account. Once you're logged in, then click on video and you're going to see text to video and image to video. With text to video, you can just give it a prompt and it's going to generate a video out of it. There's a tutorial on it that I've done. It will be in the end, there will be a playlist on the right. You can check it out from there. And in this video, we're going to take a look at this one, which is image to video. You can give it an image and it's going to animate that image. So you can put a first frame and end frame inside it. But before that, first, we need an image. So if you already have an image, you can just click on that and get started. You can skip this part. But first, we're going to take a look at the text to image section because we need to generate an image for the uh, image to video. So we're going to go inside this text to image. And now inside this, on the left hand side, you will see the settings. You can switch the model, the fast mode, the aspect ratio, you can switch the aspect ratio. Let's make it widescreen 16 by nine and the content type. You can make it art or photo, or you can select auto, which is going to automatically select based on your prompt. Uh, there is a composition. There's also a gallery inside it. So they have this gallery. You can select from these or you can upload your own image as well. And now if you go down, we have style. So how do you want that art to look like? that way you can go into gallery you can make it look like a vector but effects next which is if you want that image to look like a painting or a digital art there's also color and tone lighting and camera angle once you've done just click on prompt here and enter in a prompt it's going to say this which is prompt suggestion so let's say I go to chat GPT and I enter in a prompt from here. I just asked it, write a text to video prompt for a random topic. Keep it short. So I got this. I'm going to copy it, go back to Firefly. And in the prompt section, I'm going to paste it. And it's going to give us this on the bottom right that this prompt is correct. Your prompt looks good to go ahead and generate that way. And you can, like it's going to give you prompt suggestions. You can turn it off or on. And uh, once done, click on generate. I have already generated a few of these. So I'm going to show you inside it. Here, I've got these generations and you can look at them. And if you want, and if you want to upscale it, just click over here to upscale this image. I also took another one, which is now he is exploring it. We got this prompt. I took it, went back to Firefly, asked it to generate. And uh, this is what it gave us, these uh, images. And I like this one, this, uh, this one. So I just upscaled it and downloaded it from here in this button. Now, once you have done it, go over to video on the home page and then click on image to video. Now inside it, we're going to have these settings on the left hand side, the general settings. We cannot change this model here. The aspect ratio you can change from portrait to widescreen. Frames per second, you cannot change it as well. For the camera, you can change the camera settings. So you can, I can make it like close up shot. I can change the camera angle and the motion. So you can hover on it and you can see the motion in play. I like the handheld as it kind of looks like that there's a person holding a camera in the video. Now in this prompt, I can type in a prompt. I'm just going to use this first prompt that I got from chat GPT, copy it, go back here, paste it over here. And on the left hand side of this, we have got frame. So you can enter the first frame. They also got this second frame. I'm going to show you both of them, how it looks like when we generate using the first frame and when we use the first frame and the last frame. So in the first frame, I'm going to enter in that image that we got from text to image generator. I'm going to insert it inside here in the first frame. Click on I agree. And now click on generate. 
And if I go to my generation history, click on view all, I already have generated this. So I'm going to go inside it and show you how it looks like. Over here, we got this. And I'll click on play and you can take a look at it. It looks quite good and now let's take a look at the end frame next so what you have to do is we are going to keep the same thing the prompt the first frame and for the last frame I'm just going to take this and put it here so what this is going to do is that it's going to act like keyframes the first frame is going to be the first frame where the animation starts and it's going to end at the end frame and in the prompt on the right hand side, I'm going to take that second prompt that I got from chat GPT, copy it, go back here and space and enter it. Now click on generate. And I already have done one. So I'm going to show you. They have a particular generation limit. So I have to switch accounts to show you. I don't have the plan upgraded. So like you can generate around two or three videos and maybe some images and then it's going to ask you to upgrade so that's one negative thing like there's not much generations that you can do with it so i've switched the plan and i'll go over here and show you what that first and end frame video generated looks like so i've got this first frame end frame and the prompt that i showed you before and i'm going to show you the generated video next so take a look at it So this is how it is. Uh, the, the end frame doesn't look that good compared to this med uh, the middle one, this one. This looked really good. And yeah, that's it. Now, one thing about this is that you cannot change the duration. So this is going to be five seconds. In other AI tools, I found that you can change the duration so you can make it 10 seconds and such. But in here, you just have to live with this five seconds thing. Now, if you want to like make it a, a movie or something and you want more uh, seconds in it. So what you can do is you can have the second frame, the second frame and generate another image for the third frame. So that it's going to act as the third keyframe and then take the second frame as the first frame and the third image as the end frame and just put another prompt here and it's going to have another video generated and then with a video editing software like CapCut or Premiere Pro you can take both of those clips merge them together and that way you can keep on making more scenes out of this and make a full video full movie now you, if you want to download this there's a button on the top to download this video over to your computer just click on it and it's going to download the video and that's it.